Whether you're watching a movie or streaming your favorite show, sound is going to be a huge component of your experience, which is why it's so important to know which soundbar is going to be the best for you and your situation. In this video, we break down the top 5 soundbars on the market this year based on price versus performance and situations they'll be used in. We'll be taking a look at products in every budget range, so whether you've got a few bucks to spare and want the best value, or are looking for the best of the best, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which soundbar will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. First up, the Sonos Arc, our pick for best soundbar for most people. The Sonos Arc is a premium soundbar that will appeal to most people. The Arc brings all your media to life with cinematic sound enhanced by Dolby Atmos. At one time, you would have needed a soundbar with a multi-speaker array to get the best quality surround sound, but Dolby Atmos is changing that, and the Arc is capable of delivering 3D audio effects with a more streamlined design. The self-contained unit has only two relevant inputs, a power cable and an HDMI in. Sonos doesn't even include a remote. Instead, they suggest that you connect the soundbar to your TV using the audio return channel and just use your TV remote to control everything. Or you could control the soundbar using the Sonos S2 smartphone app. The soundbar can sit below your TV or can be wall mounted. The body is wrapped on the top, front, and on either end by metal speaker grills that cover the various orientations of the Atmos driver array, and sound is bounced off the walls and ceiling to create a 3D soundscape around you. Touch controls along the top let you play, pause, adjust volume, and swipe to skip tracks, and a small set of status LEDs give you visual feedback of your commands. The Arc also supports voice commands through Alexa, so you can play music, check news, set alarms, get your questions answered, and more, completely hands-free. Inside, there are eight elliptical woofers, including up-firing drivers for Dolby Atmos effects and three angled silk dome tweeters. Eleven digital amplifiers are assigned dedicated left, right, and center channels, alongside surround left and right, and upward firing audio to create an immersive experience. If you're looking for a premium soundbar with outstanding audio performance, the Sonos Arc is a great choice for you, and its 3D audio effects will add a new dimension to all of your media consumption. Next up, the Yamaha YAS209, our pick for best soundbar under $300. The Yamaha YAS209 produces high-quality sound that enhances the sound of movies, music, and more, and makes gaming a more dynamic experience at a price that won't break the bank. While most TVs have a great display, their audio systems are usually not as spectacular. An easy way to improve on this is by adding a soundbar to the mix, like the YAS209. The subdued design helps it blend into the background and offers a few different connection options. There's a single 4K and HDR-compatible HDMI input, and an ARC-enabled HDMI output. And for TVs that don't support ARC, there's an optical input, and an Ethernet port for those who prefer to use a wired network connection rather than Wi-Fi. And for full control, download the Yamaha app to control sound modes, music, and more. But there's more to the YAS209 than just audio for movies and TV. Stream from Amazon Music, Audible, Kindle, Pandora, SiriusXM, and more, or stream from your personal smart device using Spotify Connect or Bluetooth. Behind the speaker grill, there are two 1-inch tweeters and two 1.75-inch drivers. To handle the low frequencies, a separate 6.25-inch wireless subwoofer offers a DTS Virtual X surround mode that adds virtual height into the mix for spacious, lifelike effects that immerse you into your favorite movies and games. For the mid-range and high-frequency audio, the YAS209 features Clear Voice, an audio mode that specifically enhances dialogue and brings it to the forefront. And to control the volume, play music, and more with voice commands, the YAS209 supports Alexa. If you're looking for a soundbar that won't cost you an arm and a leg, the Yamaha YAS209 is a good choice for you. It upgrades the sound quality of your TV with a decent set of speakers and is backed up by some powerful amplification. Next up, we have the Sonos Beam Gen 2, our pick for best soundbar for the money. The Sonos Beam Gen 2 is a great upgrade to your TV audio, and its compact design is ideal for smaller spaces. The second generation of the Beam embraces clean lines, and there's nothing flashy that makes it stand out, which is exactly how a soundbar should be. The grill is made out of plastic rather than a woven fabric, and is a design choice that hasn't been made to reduce manufacturing costs, it's just far easier to clean than dust-attracting fabric. There's a touch-sensitive control on top of the soundbar that allows you to control music playback, volume, and to turn off the built-in microphones for privacy. The power connection, as well as HDMI, optical, and Ethernet ports, are all found on the rear panel. In spite of its small size, the Beam Gen 2 is more than capable of filling your living room with sound. 
The virtual Dolby Atmos, though, falls a bit short. This is most likely because the Beam doesn't have the same up-firing drivers as the Sonos Arc. While the sound does provide some sense of height, it doesn't provide the feeling that it's coming from above. Still, it performs better than a non-Atmos soundbar, the effect just isn't as impressive as you get with something like the Sonos Arc. That aside, the width of the soundstage is impressive, and will give you the sense that the action on screen is taking place all around you. Listening to music is a great experience, and delivers bass sounds that are deep and well-controlled, while mid-range sounds like strings are warm and rich, and vocals come through with good clarity. If you're looking for a compact soundbar that puts out a decent amount of power, the Sonos Beam Gen 2 would be a good choice for you. While the Atmos effects may not be as impressive as the pricier Sonos Arc, it still performs well and can easily blow away a non-Atmos equipped soundbar. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily, with sales and general price drops, so if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like, and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Next, the Samsung HWQ950A, our pick for best overall soundbar. The Samsung HWQ950A soundbar offers 16 separate sound channels to create a truly immersive Dolby Atmos experience. The HWQ950A takes the form of a long, slim speaker, and is joined by a subwoofer with an 8-inch driver, and a pair of wireless bookshelf rear speakers that are made up of three drivers in each cabinet. One fires upwards for height effects with Dolby Atmos or DTSX sources, another faces forward towards your seating position, and the third faces out towards the rear side of your room. The main soundbar has dedicated front center, front left, and front right channels, along with two more up-firing drivers, two drivers firing off to the side, and a further two drivers firing forwards at an angle to deliver mid-side effects reflected off your walls. Samsung provides processing modes that can remix any sound source so that it takes advantage of the soundbar's full speaker and channel count, and even includes a game preset that emphasizes surround and ambient effects for greater in-game immersion. Connectivity options include two HDMI inputs, one HDMI output, an optical digital audio input, and support for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The important question here is, does the HWQ950A really make its high number of audio channels count? In a word, yes. The extra drivers that Samsung has packed into the two wireless rear speakers alone add a vast difference to the soundstage, without impacting the sound quality of the other rear speaker drivers they sit in such close proximity with. The rear side channels add an enhanced sense of width to the rear soundstage that immediately makes the Atmos slash DTSX effects seem more complete, and sounds that pass from front to back and rear left to rear right are far more convincing, sealing your immersion in the world of whatever movie you're watching. If you're looking for a top performing soundbar, the Samsung HWQ950A would be an excellent choice for you. With 16 separate audio channels, you'll enjoy the audio effects the way the filmmaker intended. Finally, we have the Bose Smart Soundbar 900, our pick for great overall soundbar. The Bose Smart Soundbar 900 easily fills your room with detailed Dolby Atmos enhanced sound and looks good doing it. It's also comparable in sound quality to the Sonos Arc, but comes at a much lower price point. The Soundbar 900 supports Dolby Atmos using up-firing speakers and precise placement of sound to the right and left channels that creates a large soundstage. When there's no Dolby Atmos input, the horizontal soundstage is maintained by remixing signals to add in a virtual height channel. This soundbar has nine drivers, two tweeters, four racetrack transducers, a center tweeter, along with two up-firing speakers. HDMI eARC connectivity is in place, as well as Wi-Fi for streaming services and voice commands are supported. Whether you're playing 5.1, Dolby Atmos, or a standard two-channel stereo mix, the Soundbar 900 delivers beautifully clear, room-filling sound. Vocals and TV dialogue come across with a crisp, high-energy sound, and if you're a bass lover, there's plenty available, but you'll have to go through the settings in the app to get the most out of your soundbar's low-end capabilities. Once you have the settings finalized, the Soundbar 900 creates a convincing Dolby Atmos dome of sound around you. You'll definitely hear the added dimension provided by the height channels, but it's the incredible width of the 900 soundstage that you notice most. While the Sonos Arc does a better job with height effects, the Soundbar 900 is better at creating an overall surround sound experience. When it comes to music, both soundbars impress, and the Arc produces a warmer bass response, but it can't quite match the Soundbar 900's clarity in the upper ranges. If you're looking for a soundbar with audio quality that's comparable to the more expensive Sonos Arc, the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 would be a great choice for you. While each soundbar has its individual strengths, the price point of the 900 makes it a more attractive option. 
Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon.